Hello guys, this video will be a Vue.js lesson based on a previous project on this YouTube channel. Subscribers will remember there was a shop catalog with filters on the left, three checkbox groups, and each checkbox refreshes the products but also refreshes other checkboxes with different numbers, so you can filter by several categories. And you suggested a few improvements in the YouTube comments and we tried to implement them. One was using JavaScript promises and another one was using Vue.x. We tried both of them and let's see which is better or worse. First, I will remind you the code of that project and for those of you who haven't seen that video, I will link that in the description below with also GitHub repository publicly available. So the right hand side products list is just for each of the products and then on the left hand side there are all the checkbox groups of so manufacturers for each of the manufacturers, for each of the categories and the prices. And the main thing is probably the model selected. So they are all bound to selected property, selected variable of that front view component. And whenever any checkbox is changed, selected value changes and then it is watched for changes and the method refreshes the data. In the JavaScript part, we have variables of all the checkboxes, products, and then the select checkboxes. And whenever that checkbox is changed, we launched four methods, so three to refresh checkboxes and number four to load the products. And we do that in the very beginning of the loading of the page and also on any change of selected. And each of those methods is an Axios get request to the API, so get categories and assign the response to categories variable. Almost identical is load products from the API, load manufacturers and load prices also assigning the prices from the API response. And it works okay, but your suggested way is using JavaScript promises, which makes the code shorter. And let me show you how. This is the branch for the promises. So in that GitHub repository, you will find three branches, master, promises, and Vuex. So check out each of those branches to see the code. So that is a promises branch. And as you can see, instead of four methods, we have one method, load data, which is loaded on mounted and on any change of the selected. What is inside of that load data? And here we have promise. JavaScript function promise all, it's not Vue.js, it's JavaScript. So this means that we are waiting for the finishing of all of those methods. And as soon as they all finish successfully, then we execute the then statement or in case of any of those failing at least one, then we do the catch. Which means that each of those method is shorter. We don't need to do catch in each of them and we don't need to assign the variables because assigning is happening here, multi-assigning from the values. So each of those methods will just do the same axios get request to the API and it's returned. So that is the keyword return. At first, in the original version, it was axios get and assigning the variables. Instead of that, we are doing return and then that return will be assigned to this categories in the promise. And really similar load products, load manufacturers and load prices, almost identical. So in this case, it makes the code shorter and probably more readable. And I would totally suggest to use promise all whenever you have multiple actions and you need to wait for all of them to be successfully executed and then you need to execute some other action. So this project is a perfect example for that. So suggesting to use promises was really good and really paid off. Now let's take a look at Vuex version of the same function. And this is the version for Vuex, also in a separate branch you can check out in the GitHub repository. And this makes the code more complicated. In general, Vuex is a state manager, state pattern for Vue.js to store any global variables. So in this case, the idea is to store the checkbox values, the selected things in the global storage in store. And to do that, we need to add quite a lot of code in this case. So we need to first install Vuex like this. Then in app.js, we need to import store from store. Then when you have another file store index.js to specify what we need, the state variables, mutations, actions, and quite a lot of stuff. And then in our main view component, we have computed properties, map states, selected setters, getters, and quite a lot of new code. Also methods, map actions, and as I said, quite a lot of new code. And that all works, but in this case, Vuex is an overkill in my opinion. In general, Vuex is suitable for the case where you have multiple components 
and you need to share some data, share some global variables, and instead of passing them from one to another, you have a global state with the UX where you store the data and get that data from the store in another component. In our case, we have one component. Probably if we have another component like product page, like checkout page, like any other page which need the sidebar, then it makes sense. But in our case, we have only front view. So for this case, it's an overkill. But still, if you want to see how Vue X works in action, you can check out the branch and see the code. And that's it for now. I'm planning to shoot more videos on Vue.js specifically with Laravel, of course. I even started a new course silently. For now, it's really early days, but it will be about Vue.js, CRUD, and SPA and Laravel. I will have something to show you in a week or two, and then we'll publish that on YouTube. So subscribe to the channel and see you guys in other videos.